For our PS4 friends, we have a few uh, new treats. Uh, as usual with the patch, we have two new trophies we're adding in. I think the biggest one that everyone will love. Uh, remote play with your PlayStation Vita. Uh, we're allowing players to customize their full bindings, just like uh, DualShock 4. Uh, that's been a, a big request on the forums, and uh, we, we put it on the list, and we finally got to it, so uh, Update 13 has that. We put in a PS4 exclusive color picker uh, for the low, low cost of one credit. Uh, it features all the cool PS4 colors, uh, the blues, the whites, the blacks, and we kind of took the face button colors uh, off the DualShock 4, so we made a color palette out of those. And the other thing is performance. Uh, we've definitely been digging into uh, universal performance gains. Certain levels uh, we know are, are very hairy, and we've addressed those. And the amount of content in this patch is ginormous, so uh, PS4 fans are lucky because this is a big, big update. Just some minor changes, couple tweaks. <laughs> Couple bug, bug, bug fixes. Bug fixes, <laughs> tweaks, you know, performance improvements, fix some spelling mistakes in, uh, in item names. Yeah. Anything else? Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Melee 2.0. Oh, yeah. What should we say about it? Well, there's a lot of hype around the office about it. So I think it's a matter of just final balancing and final, final massaging of the different stances and sure it works with all the different AI types and that sort of thing, but yeah, it's really coming together. We've taken every weapon that has like three or four attacks now, and now they each have like a dozen things that they can do, and different stances, and those stances give you more energy to put into your mods. Uh, there's the channeling feature, which, you know, we didn't really talk a lot about, but is kind of like our sort of secret sort of Warframe sauce to put the Warframe energy into your melee weapon when you want. Yeah, Even just the change of being able to, like, equip nothing but your melee weapon, I was sort of like, we were doing all this other stuff, and, like, Jock's like, okay, sneaking that in. If you want to level up those swords really fast, then upon equip all of your other gear, so that all the XP is just going into them, and you got yourself a really challenging time. Like, you're bullet blocking like crazy, which is, I'm so excited for people to try, because it's, it's so exciting to be like, <laughs> blocking bullets like that, and going in and chopping people up, and trying to pull off the combo on the keyboard or controller, and trying to kind of learn those things. I think it feels uniquely Warframe, and yet it kind of is an homage to like Devil May Cry and the, the you know God of War kind of games that focus on melee. We've got uh, Hydroid as well. Yeah. Hydroid, yeah. Hydroid as well. You turn into this water form and then anything near you goes <laughs> and falls into this kind of void and uh, and then yeah if they if they die then they're gone forever or if they survive that they'll kind of <laughs> kind of be spit back out when you turn in turn back into your solid form. So he has a lot of really neat um, kind of elemental kind of cracking like of like powers. And what is crazy is like that I, for that power like that basically these watery tentacles come out kind of like the abyss, right? These tentacles come out, and they grab guys, and they start flailing around. There's been some just absolutely amazing things that happen just in the simple testing we've been doing. So I don't know. I think he's going to be really really fun. He's very different. The dark sectors, yes. So yeah, the every Tenno clan or they can form together in a Tenno alliance and basically take back these dark sectors which are places that were previously unreachable. They can build this orc and solar rail to make that place uh, open for the, the entire game to, uh, to play there. But if you want to try to contest someone's control of it, then you can try to deploy your own rail there and then you get into this kind of conflict situation. So now there's these um, dark sectors kind of spread out throughout the the um, the solar chart. There's like really interesting resources or very specific types of enemies that are there, and then the clans are going to be like, oh, okay, now we need to make sure we get that. Hopefully, this is going to give you know players a whole sort of layer of political intrigue and excitement to kind of take part of the map for themselves, which is I think really neat. Yeah. With this update, the UI continues I think to to. To advance and now there's this great clan UI. There's message of the day, you can instantly jump to the dojo, you can take a look at what uh, dark sectors you control in your clan, you have like this little activity feed about what research is done and what's been built in there. Um, you can join your buddies if they're online and play with them so there's a lot of, a lot of really good stuff in there for clans and alliances.
Ve Heck has been like completely reimagined. He's the most crazy propaganda multi-form beast you've ever seen. He's going to be awesome. He's got new types of guardian uh, Grenier with him that are melee focused to kind of dovetail with um, the melee update we've done to the game. Uh, and they have sort of very specific weaknesses and resistances. Um, so that's going to be a new challenge for players. And then the Grenier uh, shipyards, which is this kind of toxic poison wasteland where they build all their Fomorian ships, which is something for a new update.